Welcome to the Holly Area Community Show. I'm your host Jody, and I'm here at the HLS Parish Center with a very giggly Pastor Tom Olson. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jody. We're here today to talk about some of the events happening in HLS. And what does HLS stand for? Uh, that stands for Hagelin, Lisney, and Solemn Lutheran Churches, Cooperative Rural Ministry of those three Lutheran churches. But the parish center is actually in town, which has got to be convenient. It's very convenient, and it helps us reach out to people in the community and uh, the kids. It's not far from school, so after school they can come and drop by. And uh, uh, our quilters go bananas here on Tuesdays and Thursdays quilting. I'll bet because your churches are on the north side of Holly and then on the south on side. On the south side, yeah. We have, so it's kind of a center point yeah, for everyone. Yeah, people don't need to drive as far as, as they used to when we'd, when we'd have events in one congregation. So um, it's being centrally located makes it easy for everyone. And you haven't been here long. About two years. About two years, okay. Well, so we're here to talk um, about the fact that it's November and in November, it's the time where the holidays are beginning and we're starting to think about families in need. And I know at REACH, you've been on the REACH board for quite some time. And um, we've really seen the numbers increase in our food shelf and um, the number of holiday baskets we're giving out this year is about 100, whereas in the past it's been right around 80. So it just seems like the need has really gone up. Now, you've got um, an idea that actually your family is going to participate in, and I thought people would like to hear about that. Yeah, that's um, on Thanksgiving Day, November 22nd, at 1 p.m. here at the Parish Center. My family, we decided to um, um, just throw a big Thanksgiving feast to whoever's lonely or uh, would like a hot meal and uh, come on in. We're going to have uh, turkey and dressing and all the trimmings and uh, I think it should be a good time. Uh, my wife is currently in, in Africa and won't be back till December 6th so uh, when I was talking with my children about what we're going to do for Thanksgiving the idea popped up let's use the parish center and open it up to whoever wants so we are uh, advertising in the um, church bulletins and newsletters that anyone who would like to come is welcome and anyone who'd like to help us uh, uh, fix this uh, meal is welcome and it's not just for the meal it's for the fellowship so uh, people are invited to hang around afterwards and play whist and board games and uh, oh, how fun. enjoy the holiday what a great idea and I know my daughter spent a lot of time in your home and you've got a lot of good cooks in the family too. Yes we do. So who's yeah. going to be doing the cooking? Everybody or you? Well, or? I, no I think uh, a, a lot of us. Laura is an accomplished baker. Yes she is. And uh, I do well with uh, turkey and dressing and uh, we have some friends from the parish who are going to help us as well. So if someone is interested in coming, it's at one o'clock on Thanksgiving, um, what if transportation is an issue for them? Well, uh, you know, REACH has a, a wonderful uh, volunteer driver program and uh, we have been advertising that they can call REACH and uh, um, register for this meal. We're asking, we, mm. we know probably by the 15th or 16th of November, so we know how many turkeys we need to buy. Okay, so it is important that people call REACH at 483-3145 if you want to participate because you're going to want to know how much food to We're going to want to know how much food and also they could call the Parish Center okay. at 483-4706 and, and let us know. If transportation's an issue, we're hoping that REACH could um, get some of their volunteer drivers to, to help bring mm -hmm. them here, drop them off. and. Uh, also, it's available if they're unable to leave their home, for instance. Uh, we'd be more than happy to uh, uh, package up uh, a Thanksgiving meal and uh, deliver it to them at their home. Oh, it's such a great idea. It's, and, and this is such a nice atmosphere that 
No one should feel intimidated by coming here. It's a warm family, warm people, and board games afterwards. <laughs> hey. So, oh, but but you'd like to know by again, was it the 16th? 15th, the 15th or 16th. 16th. So call Reach or call the HLS Parish Center if you'd like to either volunteer or take part in this meal. So we're going to take a little break and talk more about what the church is doing um, for those in need. We'll be right back. And we're back with Pastor Tom Olson at the HLS Parish Center in Holly, Minnesota, talking about some of the things that um, his church and his family actually is doing for people that are struggling financially or maybe just are alone during the holidays, during Thanksgiving. And um, now I understand that your confirmation kids have a project coming up as well. Yeah, on Wednesday, the 14th of November, that would be like the week before the Thanksgiving holiday, uh, our confirmation kids and our adult Bible study were studying uh, Crossways uh, Bible uh, study series and we emphasize that Christ is our servant king. Uh, uh, many people uh, were expecting the Messiah to come to liberate them from the Romans and all the people who dominated them but our Lord came as a servant to liberate us from sin, death and the power of the devil and imagine the creator of heaven and earth stooping down and washing feet so in that light we try to be servant leaders as well and our kids had the suggestion to have a free meal to anybody who's hungry in Holly on the 14th so we're going to planning on having pulled pork sandwiches and calico beans and maybe a little coleslaw salad and open it up to uh, anyone in the Holly community who'd like to come and I, I believe we'll be serving uh, from about uh, 5.30 to quarter to 7. 5.30 to 7 on November 14th and so this you don't have to be a member of the church to no. come to this. Anybody in the area that, or that's watching this Anyone show? Anyone watching this show that uh, would, would, uh, would like a nice warm meal is welcome to come uh, on uh, Wednesday November 14th to the Parish Center. They could come as early as 5, but we probably won't start serving till closer to 5.30. And uh, uh, all are welcome. That's a nice idea. And then I, you have something else going on, too? Yeah, that's, that fun the event? Su that's the Sunday before. Uh, that'll, that's a taste of Scandinavia uh, on November 11th uh, uh, from 2 to 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, some of our people, they're, they're calling it hosting the culinary event of the year that it no that's a pretty broad yeah that's a quite a <laughs> proclamation so i'm very curious what are you doing well uh, who's uh, tasting scandinavia who's mate what is this we're going to be making all kinds of different scandinavian dishes mm. uh and uh, desserts cookies and whatnot there will be left some baking and krumkaka making mm. and probably someone frying rosettes and uh, uh, we'll be making potato sausage, Swedish potato sausage, oh lutefisk pudding. I'll be uh, actually showing people how to uh, prepare lutefisk three different ways. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't, I didn't realize Well, the that. Norwegians cover theirs with butter. Yes. And the Swedes cover theirs with white sauce. And, you know, cats cover theirs with sand. <laughs> That's good. That's a waste of good <laughs> fish, though. But you won't be doing the, the, the third. The, the, no, I no won't cats. be. Okay, good. Well, that sounds fun. So November 11th, this is for anyone. Is that on a Saturday? It, 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 it's on a Sunday, Sunday. afternoon, and okay. there will be tickets. Okay. You will have to... Uh, purchase tickets and I'm I'm they're not printed up yet but we'll uh, at the Paris Center here at you the call Paris Center. HLS awesome that's on I, I I love me some lutefisk so but not with the white sauce with the butter with the butter you so bet. as long as it's done both ways so um, I thank you very much for informing of us you're November welcome. you're gonna be exhausted yeah in we'll December. be busy but that's what we're here for it's a beautiful place thank you so much for coming you until bet. next time <laughs>